Good morning, Saints. I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. Um, hopefully a good morning. Hopefully it's not too chaotic um, at this time of year. Um, you know, kids are going back to school. I don't know if you have kids. If you do, it's pretty chaotic in your house. Um, if not, maybe you're going back to school. That can be pretty chaotic. Or maybe you're getting ready for work. Um, just a, a thought, and I don't know if you ever thought about it yourself, but why... In the time of Jesus, he, of course, we know, died on a cross. But in that time period, you didn't die on a cross unless you were a thief or a murderer or something of that nature. And he was put up there with criminals. But why did he have to die like that? God knew that he was sending him as a sacrifice. Why did he choose to send him as a sacrifice on a cross? Um, Jesus wasn't a criminal. He didn't do anything wrong. So why, why on a cross? Well, here's a thought. When Adam and Eve um, were thrown out, out, out of Eden, of course, and they ate from a tree that they weren't supposed to. Okay, so... Jesus died on a cross, which he wasn't supposed to. He wasn't, he wasn't a criminal and it was made out of a tree. So Eve took from the tree and in order to balance that out, Jesus died on a tree. Now, this is just a thought. This doesn't mean that this is the way it is, but have you ever thought about that? A cross is made out of wood, which was essentially a tree. We weren't supposed to take from a tree. There's a lot of symbolism in the Bible. It's just a thought. I hope that you know that you are loved and you are worthy. And I hope that is uh, something to think about for the day.